Hey, get out, buddy. It's Matt here from Matt Cars. Today, we're going to have a look, a close look, at the extreme cylinder burr from Cutsill. Okay, so I will be looking at three aspects of this the V cut, blocking out, and rounding off. Plus, I've got a bonus tip there for you as well. And I'm going to compare it to the Flame Burr, which is a great generalist burr that does a little bit of everything. Okay, so on to the V-cut and we're doing it with the cylinder burr there. And the benefit with the cylinder burr is there's two flat sides, although the top side is a little bit rounded. So uh, we're going to have the benefit of having two quite flat sides. So you've got the left hand side there and the right hand side. We've gone at a quite a low angle there, so it's not exactly a V-cut, more of an L-cut I guess you would say. But it's quite clean there uh, going at a deeper angle there so it's more of a V uh, and that works out pretty well as well and so if we go in with the flame burr you will notice the pointy end is going to dig in and cause quite a rough kind of area on the left hand side and the right hand side is going to be quite curved I guess you would say it yeah so you can see it's quite rough there right in there uh, compared to that but of course if you was going to use the flame burr to cut a V I would do it like this anyway so um, you're still going to have that kind of like rounded side on each side though and so you, you know what I mean sort of sort of like that V but it's kind of rounded Okay, so when it comes to blocking out, I think they're pretty much equal. I guess the flame would get into tighter areas, but where the cylinder burr really pays off is taking down flat planes. And you can see it here. Uh, I'm just going back and forwards with the cylinder burr, whereas with the flame burr, I've got to sort of like alter the angles to keep the flatness of the wood. So you can see there I go down with the flame and then I will change it the angle just to keep that flatness of the wood but as with the cylinder I just keep on going back and forwards okay so just to let you know I do have an affiliate link with Cutsill you get 5% off I do get a little bit of a kickback um, and that just sort of helps out the channel so I can buy more burrs and all those kind of cool things that help me carve and make videos as well for you guys to watch Okay, so probably my favorite use of the cylinder burr is to do convexes. And these are the little boats that I've been making this week. They're pretty cool. And eventually I'm going to turn those into bronze. So uh, they've got lots of convexes. And before I put those lines on, I want to get it as sort of like round as possible. You can see there I have put in sort of markation of a flat area. And the dot in the middle is the high point that I want to keep. So you can see the flame burr is pretty difficult to um, get sort of like that convex kind of thing because it's going to be fighting against the roundness of the boat where you're best off with something flat like the cylinder burr. And just some tips here is try not to go in onto the dot in the middle. Sort of go on the outside and then sort of gradually work in and keep on looking at the roundness of it that's kind of what I do um, you might have a different way of doing it you can do it with a flame burr but you have to move it really really quickly so it doesn't settle and dig into the wood so there it is at the end and I think that's pretty round and then I will carry on with that little boat okay so for the bonus tip I have got a little well I don't know whether it's a gem but anyway you can use the bottom of the burr as well not just that top bit there but the bottom of it so what I mean by this is you can actually use the depth of the shank in the Dremel to carve really defined lines. So I want to put in a line there on that boat. And so I'm going in and just using the other end of the Kutzel burr. And you can do this for with a lot of different burrs as well. Uh, just as long as it's got a protruding kind of bottom part of the burr okay so thanks for watching the video and if you want to check out how i made this viking boat uh click on the link and the little berserker in there i've also left a link for that as well okay so see you next time